Morning to you. Good morning. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can. You lost? Looking for your husband or your daddy? Nah, I ain't never married, and my old man's been gone a while. I'm looking for someone else. Uh, handbill says his head's worth $5,000. I don't believe I can help you with that. He does look a lot like you. Man goes by the name of Nathan Pauly. Goes by. Well, that's what they call him, but I always figured he'd change it. See, this is Nathan Pauly. About 10 years back, he robbed a whole ton of poor fellas on a train. Well, ain't that harsh. Then, he left his robbing partner dead. A fella named Marcus Wilson. And a whole trail of bodies along with him. But, uh, <laughs> he's got to have quite the healthy sum of money on him. Money he can't spend, because he's been on the run. Wah. Bounty hunters, people chasing him from place to place. Ain't no way to live a life. You can't make the best coffee out here now, can you? You help yourself there. Sure it'd be nice to have a morning cup before you head on your way when the rain comes. Who says I'll be heading on my way just yet? I imagined I'd find good old Mr. Nathan in a similar circumstance. Been a long time, hadn't it? Longing for companionship. Longing for someone who understands all the struggle you've gone through. But all you have is yourself. Because you been running from all the bad you done. Nathan. Get the hell off my campsite. What was that now? I see. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I got the draw on you. I didn't think we'd get to this part so soon. I wanted to chat a little first, but uh. We can get straight to the killing if that's better for your schedule. Go on now, little missy. Head on out of here. I know all about what you done, Nathan. You don't know nothing. You gonna shoot if me? If you don't get up my campsite, I'm gonna shoot. Shoot me then. You can shoot me right here and all this right now. And you can keep running and leave another body in your trail just like you did with Marcus Wilson. Why don't you tell me why you shot him in the back and you left him to die? What in Jesus? Tell me! It was as simple as I wanted something. He stood in my way, right? Now, I made a choice. Now, I know it was a bad choice, but back then, it just, it all made sense. These are some fine horses. You can sell them for a good price. Now saddle up, come on. We gonna ride them up the canyon? Yeah, we gotta split off. Why are we gonna split off? It'll, uh, I mean, I don't know, confuse them. You got a plan? Like where we gonna meet? I don't know, I don't. <laughs> That's not important right now. Well, shit, that's not important. We can figure that out later. Figure it out when? Nathan, we don't have time for this. You ain't taking it for you and that wife of yours, is you? Nathan. Nathan, she's dying. <laughs> I need it for her. I, I need it for my child. You 
lied to me, Marcus. Nathan, you don't want to do All this. All these years, you want to just use me. Leave me to rot and die. All for that horrible wife of yours. Now, don't you dare talk about her that way. We gotta go. See, I'm here right now, and you need to come along, because I'm looking out for you, brother. Now give me half that money, brother. like this, but I gotta look up for my loved ones. Do what's right. Shit. <sighs> no man's gonna be here soon. If you ain't dead yet, I hope we take care of you. Regret a lick of it? I think about it every day. Every damn day I, I think about it, but my hands still don't work right. That's why I like to think that the score was settled. You ever stopped to think about his wife? And all he had to leave behind? You think that score was settled? No, I, I, I try not to think about that. Afraid you're gonna feel some guilt? I never knew what happened to her. You let her die, too. How the hell you know that? Because my name is Eliza Wilson, and my old man was Marcus. You murdered my daddy, let my mama die tuberculosis, and you left me an orphan. Now stand up, you sack of shit. Stand up! It's... Is this what you used when you shot him? We're gonna try this again. Except this time I want a fair fight. What? You murdered my daddy in cold blood, and I'm here to right that wrong. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna holster our guns, and we're gonna get ready to draw. Now, look, darling. Dad, how'd you just call me? I I'm just trying You ruined every ounce of potential my life had. Now show me some goddamn respect and give me a fair fight, like the one he deserved. Eliza, don't make, don't make me do this. Come with me. Just look at that. If I were you, I'd want to die right here. Which is exactly what you're gonna do. Listen, I'm begging you, please. Please, Liza, forgive me. I just, show me some mercy, please. You show any mercy to Marcus Wilson? Fine. Fine, just shoot me then. Get it on over with, will you? Just leave me to die in the dark. Just 
Don't make me, don't make me find you. For 10 years, I've been thinking about this moment. I thought you was gonna be all tough and grizzled. I thought living off the land alone would have made you harsher, but Somehow you got weak. That's not what I came here for. I want to fight with the man who took everything from me. That's what I deserve. Fair fight. Fair goddamn fight. All right then. <laughs> <laughs>